hello each and every one of you. This picture, this video, this picture from September the 17th, 2014, at Bush Stadium, the night that I was at, that I was kidnapped at Bush Stadium by the staff. And for the first time in four years, I'm going to tell you about it. Hello each and every one of you. The date was September the 17th, 2014. That is over four years ago now. Since the night I was kidnapped at Bush Stadium. And up until now, other than a few videos, I've never talked about it. I've never talked about the actual incident that actually happened there at night. And I've never put any of the photos on from that night. Never ever put any of them on from that night. Even though they did take my camera and stuff, I still had a, a spare camera that I was using. So, body cam. So, that's how I got these photos. But, okay. The first night, the se September the 16th, I went to the ball game. Uh, I think I don't remember the team that was playing, but I do remember the team from that night. I think it was the Browns. Um, don't quote me on that. But um, okay, the September the 16th was fine. I went to the little area over there where they had the stage. They had three bands that night. That night went fine. And the next night I had another ticket, and I went back. And, uh, that was the night from hell. Literally, from hell. So, um, I'm doing this as I'm, I'm doing this. Because I'm going to try to show you this and do this at the same time. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try. Because I want to show you the night that that happened. Okay, so we were up at the stage area. Here, let me show you this. This was the stage area right here. That's where they played the bands at the night of the 16th. And this, they had three different cheerleader teams there that night. The night that that happened. It wasn't a band. It was cheerleaders um, in some kind of dance routine or something like that. This is the footage from that night, the pictures. The story that I am going to tell you from that night is... At what actually happened that night. Okay. I can't show it to you and do it at the same time because I am going to show you footage of the um, video and all that stuff that happened. But, okay. I was in the crowd here. I know you can't see this. But I was over there and I was uh, doing my little dance. It was very crowded that night. You couldn't even... It was afternoon, actually. It was very crowded. And, uh... I got grabbed by three people from behind. And let me tell you this. It wasn't ordinary people. It was the people that run the stadium. It's the people that ran the, the Bush Stadium. I do not know their names. I do remember the first thing that they did. And they came up and showed me a picture on a camera. Like this. Pretend this is a camera. They showed me a picture on this of a guy with a beard look completely different than I am because I was Su I'm Susan as you know and they claimed that that was me that picture what no nothing looked like me I've never had a beard never looked like that it wasn't me and no I don't have a picture of it because they took my camera they took my phone and they drug me downstairs literally drug me downstairs well against my will not not drag drag but put you on your, your hands and drug me you know what I mean forced me to go downstairs to some room downstairs there's some metal tables in there and I think it was one metal table or two metal tables in there and uh now this was always before the ball game started because I had went there the night before previously in order to um watched the ball game the day before and that night I believe the Browns were there I'm not certain don't quote me on that one however I just went I went through the most horrific nightmare and over the two hour period that I was in that room and I was locked in that room with three guys three people 
One of them said he was, was the uh, main guy at the Bush Stadium, supervisor or something. Don't quote me on that either. And there was two other ones that supposedly they were ones that ran Bush Stadium too. Supposedly they were all people that run Bush Stadium. So um, I can't ne deny or confirm that. However, they had Bush Stadium on their thing. They had logos, they had stuff. So, yes, they were from Bush Stadium. So, to make a long story short, we're going to cover that too. To make a long story short, the afternoon of the 17th, it was around 4, I think, took me downstairs, took my hands, shackled it to the, put the, you know, shackles changed, what do we call them, onto the desk, you know, on the table, shackled my hands, and spent the next two hours screaming at me. They took my phone. And I had a phone. You know, one, a cell phone. All it was was a cell phone. No, it didn't take pictures. Not like the smartphone I have now. They took that away from me. And they took my camera away from me. You know, my camera. This isn't a camera, but pretend it is. They took my camera away from me. And, uh... Broke my camera, actually. They screamed at me for two hours and uh, told me that, uh, called me by the wrong name, by the way. They didn't call me Susan. They called me the other name. <laughs> Said that um, I didn't belong there. Um, a whole bunch of stuff about transgenders and gays. Slapped me. Uh, they physically slapped me and all kinds of stuff. Um, now, there's some some stuff in here that... Um, they, at the end of it, they told me not to tell anybody about it. Or else they'd come after me and do something. If you know what I mean. So I never did. Until now. It's four years later. So now I am telling the story. That actually happened there that night. So, after they took me down there, they chained me to the thing. And they claimed that I was down there taking pictures of... All the people and the cheerleaders and all that different stuff and kept asking me, why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? I told them, because I'm the dance of life. I, I do, I dance. They took my my phone. They searched everything on it. They ruined, they ruined my phone, actually. Um, I, fi I fixed it, but they, they, they broke my camera. They took all my pictures off of my camera, which uh, at that time, unbeknownst to them... I had body cams too, which also took the same took these pictures that I'm going to show you. So um, no, I did not have body cams. They did not work inside the facility because they. Well, I'm going to tell you what they did with that in a minute. But why this might even be considered an act of uh, assault? It was an act of assault, but rather to say that it's an act of uh, a sexual assault or not, I don't know. So, um, anyway, we're going on with this. What actually happened there that night? Yes, I was assaulted. They slapped me. And they, they verbally assaulted me over and over and over for hours and hours telling me that I'm going to hell. And I did this and that. And they kept showing me this picture on this camera. I don't have a... I'm, I'm using the camera here. They kept showing me this picture on the camera. Of some guy with a beard said that that's me. That I did this and that and this and that. And... Uh, it didn't even look anything like me, not even at any time. They said that, uh, I was a transgender freak, and I was, uh, I should be dead, and it threatened to kill me, I don't know how many different times. And, uh, now this one's hard to talk about, but, uh, now I don't know what its purpose was for, but they did it. Ooh, how am I supposed to talk about this? I have never talked about this until now. They made me... Let me put it this way. This robe, if you know what I mean, made me, you know, take my my clothes and stuff off and supposedly strip search me or something like that. But uh, I don't think that's what it was because they never were searching for anything. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, that was an assault of a different kind. I believe I was actually... Assaulted the other way, which I've never been. A, I'll tell you something. I've never been able to deal with that. I've never gotten over that. And I've been in therapy for years, which the, the therapists themselves don't even know about it. But that's part of what they did. 
I'm not going into details because I guess you can guess the rest. They assaulted me. They caused me to want to kill myself because at the end of this, at the end of this game, I had hit my head on the brick, the wall there. There was a wall right next to it. To the point where it bloodied my head and blood was running down this. They were standing there laughing, laughing about it. Now get this. This happened back September 17, 2014. So, I was hitting my head and they were laughing about that. In fact, one time they took the back of my head like this. I was slamming it against the wall and say, you need to talk, you need to talk, you need to talk. Talk about what? I don't know what the hell they wanted me to talk about. I still don't know what there was they wanted. They searched all my phone. They took all my pictures. And, uh, said that, um, they were going to do all kinds of stuff. And I was a freak and I was uh, this and that. And they did this for two hours now. At the end of it, they... You know, I was, they, they was cracking my head against the wall, which was assault. And at the end of that, then I was cracking my head on a wall, screaming on the floor. Get this, screaming on the floor, like a two-year-old, yes, but with good reason. They telling me they're going to have, they're going to take me away forever and lock me up forever and all kinds of shit. Anything to get me agitated. And uh, the whole time they got me... With a chain or whatever how you call that thing to the desk. And I still don't know what the hell it is I did. Because I came in to a stadium. And, uh, well here I'm going to show you. Here is where the thing started. Right here. See this right back here? If you can see this on the, right back there was where I was standing. This, here is the stage. This back here is where they grabbed me, took me back through this door. There's a door that leads through this building downstairs. You see this right there through this building? Right there's a door. They took me back here, took me down back, and went all the way to the basement. All the way down to the, the lower level, which people don't even go to. And this was the event they were having that night. This was the stage. They claimed that I got up on this stage... <laughs> they claimed I got up on this stage that I wouldn't get off which was, I wasn't on that stage was not at any time there was no one on that stage actually not, not, not that night or the night before okay, going on now they were doing all of this for two hours, at the end of that I was a helpless unable to do anything screaming Crying, asking, at, at the end of it, I told him, just give me, keep the tickets, keep everything. Just send me out of the place. Which they wouldn't do. They said they were, they were going to do this and that and, and, and hurt me. And talk. They didn't call me by the regular name. They called me by another name. And they showed me a picture on a camera. If you, this looks like a camera. They showed me a picture of somebody with a beard. It wasn't, it wasn't me. They said that that was me. And they were going to fix it where I never came home and all of that stuff. You know what I mean? So then they're standing there laughing about it. You know what I mean? And they, they got me there and they... They got me there and they take a, you know, video of all of this and pictures of all this and all that. I guess you know what I mean. You can figure that part out, right? So, um... This kept going, like I said, for two hours. And they were... Yelling at me and screaming at me and slapping me in the face and grabbing my arm and shaking me and grabbing my, you know, this and shake, hitting me like this. You know, grabbing my shirt and upside down and tell me, say, say it to me, you know what I mean? I'm going to go to hell. Uh, I'm the devil and I should burn in hell forever. And every single vulgar, vulgar thing you could think of, I can't name them all. But the thing that I can name is they made me disrobe, let me put it that way. If you know what I mean, take off my dress and my my um red outfit. You know, yes you seen a red outfit there. And uh, that was an assault. This is not hard to easy to do, but that was a, an assault sexually assaulted by them. So um at the end of that they told me never to tell anybody about this. Or else they would uh, come after me and make me um, locked up for 20 years or something. Like, shit like that. That's what they said. Which, again, let me point out. Here's what I did. I went in the stadium. 
<coughs> sort of my ticket. Went directly to this place right here. Here, let me show you the other one if I can show, find it. Right here. This right here was before the thing happened. I'm going to have to shut this light off so you can see this. When I was there with Fred Bird right there, you've never seen this picture until tonight. Right there, that was before the incident happened, right there. So, hold on. So, okay, going on. Um, remember, and that night is hard because Bush Stadium kidnapped me, sent me downstairs, assaulted me in three or four or five different ways. All I did was, I went into the stadium twice the day before, went to this very stage where I just showed you, where they do the concerts. I danced to my, con you know, music, then went and watched the ball game. Nothing more. Oh, I need to bring this up, too. So, anyway, then the next night, <coughs> get this, I went to the stadium, went directly to the same place here where the stage is. They were having some kind of a cheerleader uh, dance or something. You know what cheerleaders do. And I was over there. There was no music. I was sitting on the side dancing to the music like I always did. And, you know, getting pictures of some of it. And that was it. They grabbed me from behind, two or three of them. And literally kidnapped me, drugged me downstairs. By that, I mean grabbing me by the hand. They didn't literally drag me. But they took me by the hand, grabbed me, and, you know, made me walk backwards. After they showed me a picture on that camera... And pretend this is a camera. They showed me a picture there, and sh some guy with a beard on and said that that was me. And um, <coughs> I don't. <coughs> I'm sorry, my voice is leaving me. And then they took me downstairs, uh, downstairs uh, some room. I don't know where it was. There was three people there the whole time, and it went absolutely crazy. They held me there for two hours. Kidnapped me, held me there for two hours, assaulted me, as, in, in, insulted my name, threatened me, told me I was gonna, I was gonna die, I was gonna get killed, and I was gonna go away forever, and go into jail forever, and every kind of vulgar thing you could think of, which I still point out, I did nothing. Go to there, go to this thing, dance a little bit, then I was going to the ball game. That's what happened. You will see some of the stuff from that night. After all of this happened, because I was so stunned that uh, I put I, I stayed where they, st they put me. I mean, to this day, I've not gotten over this. To this day, now, I'm going into some more. I was slapped in the face. I was, uh, you know, poked with stuff. You know what I mean? Poked with cigarettes. And I just never showed anybody that, any of that. And that was some kind of medieval torture or something. I don't know what it was. Screamed at. My name was insulted. And um, I still don't know why. There's three guys there. And I do not know who it was. I do not know their names. And even if I did, I wouldn't say it. But I don't. They were there with the stadium, I know. They had all the keys to the doors. They, they were said put a stadium on their suit. They were there with the stadium. They, were, they run the stadium, okay? I don't know who they were. And even if I did, I wouldn't say it. But uh, anyway, they were with the stadium. They're not just the people that go to the ball game. They were the staff at the stadium. The ones that run it, the main people. Not the workers, but the what main ones that run the thing. At least that's what they told me. So I have to believe that. I don't know. It'd be funny if I found out that it was somebody else and planned that, assaulted me like that. I was slapped, beat, um, everything, assaulted, um, <coughs> this is difficult to talk about even now, 40 and something years later, and they made me, you know, disrobe, let me put it that way, which, that's another assault, and I've never really gotten over it, I've never even told my therapist about this, so this disclosure is just coming out. Because, hence, they told me afterwards, don't ever tell anybody about this, because we'll fix it where you never come home again. That's what they, I was told. 
So I didn't. Up until now, which now I don't care anymore. It's been four years ago. So I'm going to show you some of the pictures from that night. And try to describe it to you. But, uh, once again, I've never gotten over that. I still have nightmares about that. And it's done something. It changed me. Because I just went there to watch a ball game and go back and dance. You know, like I do at every single concert I go to? That's what I went there for. Only that night they didn't have a concert there. They had the cheerleaders there. Which, I've been to other places and danced for that before, too. So, then these guys grab me and they, they do all kinds of stuff to me. Torture me, torment me, slap me in the face, call me names, you know. And, like I said, I am going to show you some of the pictures and try to describe what happened. Now, these pictures have never been seen before by anybody. They were, they've been sealed in, in, in one of my, um, in, in some place in my house. They've been sealed up here in this computer for four and a half something years. Never been shown before. Until now. So, here we go. Alright, the best way to do this is to follow along with me. Because this is going to be a little bit of a lengthy procedure here. This, right there is where the stage was. Actually, the stage is over here. That's where the mat was. This is the first place I showed up at. Where they had that night. <coughs> right there, that building is where they took me in. Right there, see it? Right here. They took me down this building and downstairs. Okay, so you're going to have to stick with me here and the way that I'm doing this. This is the second one. These have never been seen before. Okay, this is the second one. The same place right here where the mat was where they, they did some kind of cheerlead or something or something. Or other. That building right there you're seeing right there is where they took me into. Underneath this thing is where they questioned me. And showed me that camera picture of somebody else and grabbed me. Took me down this way. It was either this building or that one over there. So, we're going on. This one right here. And you can see I was standing over here. And uh, the stage is in back, actually. Back of me. This was a mat. And they were doing some kind of dance cheers. <coughs> And they grabbed me from behind. <coughs> okay, stick with me here. Okay, we're going to see if we can get this and turned around. This was Fred Bird. Who walked in front of me. And in back, right there, that building, right... No, see this? That's Fred Bird. In back of me was the stage, which they said that I went on, which I didn't. And this was all from that night. This was before they get, they kidnapped me. Okay, we're going to flip this again. There he is, Fred Bird. I guess that's Fred Bird. I don't know. Maybe it isn't. No, that ain't Fred Bird. What am I thinking of? I don't know who this is. I thought it was Fred Bird. Maybe it No, that ain't Fred Bird. Anyway, this is somebody that was there. I don't know who they were. I thought it was Fred. I thought it was Fred Bird that night. I didn't even realize that until now. That ain't Fred Bird. Okay. Anyway, this was where I was at. This place here is the building right there where I was grabbed by the staff. Okay. Okay, here we go again. I had to flip this around. And there he is. That's not Fred Bird. I didn't even realize that until this now. And there's some of the people from the team, whichever they were from. I don't know where they were from. I never found out. And again, these have never been shown until, to, until this minute. Okay. Let's flip this around. There's me and whoever this is. That was before the thing happened. That was before I was kidnapped and grabbed. These have never been seen before. Remember that. Okay, and this was... I'm guessing it was some school team that was there that night. I don't know. Because the night before they had... Um, they had uh, three concerts. This was another scene that I had before. Okay, we had to flip this around again. And there's... I, you know what? I, until tonight, I didn't even know that wasn't... That's not Fred Bird. I thought it was. But it isn't. Anyway, these were the cheerleaders or whatever they were that were there that night. The stage was behind. And... Uh, 
<coughs> These are all never been seen before. Okay. Hold on. That's, yeah, that one right there. We're going to go a little faster here. This one right here. That's the place where, you know, I was watching it right there. That building right there is where they grabbed me right behind there. Took me downstairs right down there. You see that building? I think it was that building. Yes, it was. Um, okay. And then we got it some more right here. All from that night. I'm going to try to make this go faster. Okay. And this was from that night. Never been shown before. Okay. I hope you don't mind the way I'm doing this because the only way I could do this. Okay, so this is why I've, I've changed position now and I went in the back. And this is where they actually grabbed me from in the back. So this is from that night. This is me at the uh, game. Same place where they was doing the cheers and stuff. Okay, and let me flip this around. I've never actually looked at this until now. So here's more scenes from that night. The night that I was kidnapped at Bush Stadium. Okay. These pictures have never been seen before. They've never been aired any place. So they've been sealed away for four years. And this was another scene. I, I actually remember that too. That was m minutes before the thing happened. Here we go, another one. Okay. And then here we go again. This was... This was literally minutes to seconds before the thing happened. You see this guy standing there. They came up from behind. Back this direction and pulled me downstairs. Right... Right there where this guy is standing. He pulled me from behind... From behind. Downstairs. And this was afterwards. This was afterwards <clears throat> after they got done with me. This here was after the two hours that they questioned me down they threatened me and everything else downstairs. This is me sitting in one of the seats. Where after, you know, that's where they put me. They told me to go there. So I sat there and I didn't <coughs> I didn't move the rest of the night. I remember that. This is afterwards. See how it looked? It looked like I had been shocked by a something. This was the ballpark right here that night. Right there. There's the ballpark. You have to realize this has never been seen before. This was the ballpark from that night. And this was me. You can see how disturbed I looked. Right there, and you have to realize, none of this was ever air, ever been aired until today. It's been sealed away for four years. And this was the ball game getting ready. I'm going to quickly go through these if I can. This, right there, you see that, that guy right there? Right there was one of them that actually was in on the thing, if you know what I mean. Right there, see that guy right there? Right there. That's one of them that was actually in on the thing that happened. He's standing right there. You can see him. Right there. Jesus Christ. It's been four years since I didn't even remember. I still remember that though. Okay. So here's... Here's the, the ball game. Here's the players that night. And I can't get enough to tell you what the... I think that was the Browns. I'm not sure. But, uh... This is the Cardinals here. These are. Anyway. Where's the rest? Oh, here we go again. This was the game and the players that night. After they did that, I didn't care. They set me down or I didn't move. This is them preparing the thing. <coughs> this. Was the team. At the ball game, September the 17th, 
And here we are. I was sitting there. I had changed place five times, actually, uh, while I was there. So we're keeping going with this. <clears throat> Here's one of the players. I don't know what happened to him. From that night on the ball field, September the 17th. This is the only way that I could do this. So, yeah, there, there's the other team. I think it was the Browns. I don't, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's not important. So. And here we go. Some more. Of the team from that night. At, at, on the baseball field. Which I stayed, but I never, uh, they changed me. And I was never the same after that. I'm showing it to you this way. Because this is the only way I know how to do it. Here's the baseball field and some of the players. This is where I was sitting, right here. You're going to hear some video, too, in a few minutes. And uh, this was where I was sitting. I actually moved to three different places because of that guy I moved. Uh, right here, the ball game right there. You can see the players and stuff right there. And there's the... That's actually the... Tick, that's actually the, the board, actually, right there from that night. This was the board from that night at the ball game right there. You can see it. That was the board from that night. And you can see there's nothing on it yet. The ball game hadn't begun yet. So that was early in the thing. Okay. That was... This was from that night. And this was from that night. Here I am from that night. You can see that I was extremely in distress and disturbed. Extremely motionless look there. If you, if you study that, that's a motionless look of shock. This one, take a look at that. That was a motionless look, sh look of shock. If you really know what I know what I mean. That right there is a dead look. And here's another one from the thing. And another one. So, now I'm going to show you some actual video from that night. 7384. Hold on. I should have. Okay. Be prepared for the video. I can't show you all of this, but I am going to show you video. That lady right there, see her? These two people, they're the ones who came down to harass me. Come on, I'm waiting. I'm gonna put you on fucking broadcast all across the goddamn world. Any? I'm fucking sick of this shit. This is me that night. No, it was a different cut, too. I'm sorry. It was the other ones. Actual video from that night. Never before seen. No, that's, I thought that was the one. 
one, but it's not. Okay. Here's another video of actually it's never been seen. Hold on. That's her. You know, I told you that I'm leaving. I'm done with this. You people have harassed me this whole goddamn day. I haven't done a thing to anybody. This is her right here. You run me out because I'm not here to lie. I haven't done nothing to nobody. I want somebody to leave me alone. I paid for a ticket for this. I'd like to see that game. I would like to see this game. Or I'm going to put you on the air. I'm a celebrity. This is her right here. This is my goddamn seat. I haven't done nothing to nobody. September the 17th, 2014. Okay, we got some more footage coming up right here. Some more. Hold on, let me look. Let me enlarge it. Let me enlarge it. Some more footage from that night. Come on, I'm waiting. And the last video. Hold on. The last video from that night. Okay, 7384, getting some more footage, there's the lady that harassed me that day, downstairs, you've seen her just now, she's part of the, what, who did that to me that night, so that's actually four of them, that one was outside, in the stadium actually, right here I got her, wait, hold on a minute, let me flip this around, <coughs> that's her right there. Actual footage of her right there. See her? That's the lady you just seen. Who was harassing me down in the seats. Part of the... Whatever the hell it was that night. Okay. Hold on. Um. This was downstairs. I think this was leaving this... Either leaving or arriving to the thing. No, this was arriving. This is a picture that night. This is the only way that I can do it. Some of these I don't think is important. There's a picture that night. There's another picture that night. That's um, September 17th. Another picture that night. Hold on. Another picture that night. Don't know if you can see it or not. No, that's another picture that night. Another one of that night. This was all afterwards now. Everything you're seeing has never been seen before. Oh, hold on. I just I just shut it down. Okay. There's another one from that night. On the ball field. There's another one from that night. I'm doing this because this has never been seen before. I think this goes along with the story. Another one from that night. Now this is after they, after I left the, the, the room where they, they walked me up to here and stuck me there and told me to stay there. I told them I wanted to leave, but they said no. They wanted me to stay there so they could harass me some more, I guess. Another one from that night. Right there. And this is the way I'm doing it. Another one from that night. September 17th, 
just to prove that I was there that night, I'm showing you this. And to show you the way that it looked that night. I want this is never none of this has ever been seen before. It's been sealed up for four years. So here's one of my four pictures. I looked horrible there now, didn't I? I looked like I had seen a ghost or something or fell on the floor or something. See that uh, that face? It was a face that looked of shock after that happened to me. Here's another one. I tried the second time and that one was no better. I looked bad there too. My voice is going. This one even looked worse than all the other ones. Kind of shock putting in, putting in, setting in. I might have to stop and get me a drink. I don't know. Here's another one from that night. The ball field from that night. Ball field from Bush Stadium that night. One of the ball players from the stadium close up from that night. I wanted to get plenty of pictures. To, even though they broke my camera and they took my camera and messed it up, I had an extra one. Body cam. Another one from that night. Another one from that night. Ball game from that night. Field pitcher. I'm not going to show you all of these. I'm just going to show you the main ones here. Um, Where am I at here? Another one from that night. Maybe I will show them to you all. After all, this is important. There's another one from that night with the people that were sitting around me. Boy, my hand is sore. I'm showing this directly from picture to picture here. There's another shot of me from that night. It's a, that's a horrible one. There's another one for me that night after I was being attacked. Another one for me that night. That's my final place where I was at. Where I was put for the ball game. There's the field that night. Uh, hold on. That's where they kept coming down there and harassing me down there. Because I sat right in front of her. See that lady? Get it to shut down for her. Hold on here. This was where I was up on top. And see that? That's where I had my sitting. <coughs> I'm sorry, man. That's just where I was sitting. No, right here. And that's from that night. Ball game from that night. Don't know what that was. Or this. Ball game from that night. There's Fred Bird right there. I don't know what that other thing was. I, was t I thought it was Fred Bird, but all these years I thought it was. It wasn't. And there's the real Fred Bird right there. That's from that night. This is from that night. That's from that night. All these years I thought that was Fred Bird, but it wasn't. This is from that night. Yes, hold on. This is from that night. I'm doing this rather than putting all these pictures on the other channel. Oh, look at this. This was even from that night. You can tell right there. Look at look at me. Take a look, good look at me. Did I not look like I was the most miserable person on earth right there? I did. Even though we had those guys standing there with me. I was the most miserable. I remember that. I was the most miserable, horrible. I felt the most horrible I ever felt. They were smiling, but I wasn't. Not after that. Here's another one. And take a look at me. Do I not look uh, like I fell to the floor there? Even though this guy's smiling, but this... Uh-uh. I get this everywhere I go. It doesn't matter how I feel. They don't understand what had happened to me that night because I was I looked horrible there. So... This was after the game, I guess. 
No, that was during break. This was that night. This was that night. Yeah, that's after people were leaving. At least I think. This was that night. This was towards the end of it. Some people left before the game stuff ended. This was that night. This was, yeah, this was after the game. This was when we were leaving. This was that night. This was that night. This was that night. Let me flip this around. I've never seen, oh. Yeah, that picture didn't work. Okay, hold on. Let me flip this. There's that lady again. See her? Right there. That's, she was part of the ones that harassed me that night. Yeah, oh, that and that ain't no good. Okay. Here's another one from that night. Take a look at me. Take a good look right there. Who? She's smiling. I look like I got hit with four walls right there. And that's exactly how I feel. I remember that. She's never forgotten it either. Here's another one from that night. Take a look, good look at me right there. See that? She's smiling. I look like I got hit in the face with a, a club right there, which I actually did. So, here's another one. This happens everywhere I go, so. But take a look at me. I look stunned. They're all smiling. That was from that night, too. You have to remember, these have never been seen before. This is from that night we were leaving. This is from that night. I don't know if the rest of these are important or not. Uh, well, no, you need to see some of them. That's from that night. The rest of these are really not important. This was from that night. This was from that night after we left. Take a look at me. I'm showing you this because I, I want you to see that face. That's a stunned face right there. Look, I had went like I went to hell and back. This one the same. It looked horrible there. It looked like I had fell on the floor or something. And I especially want you to see this. That was where we were at that night. Bush Stadium. Definitely want you to see that. I took the pictures of these on purpose. Bush Stadium. So you see where it was at. Bush Stadium. See it? And take it. No, you can't see that one. I'm showing this because I want to make sure you see it. That's outside of Bush Stadium. Okay. I think you've seen enough. Third base. That's where the whole ordeal began. That's where we went. I went in, right there. And that's all she wrote for the pictures. So. Now you got the idea. Okay, so now you've seen most of the pictures from that night. I've told you the story. And, uh, you have to remember, those, that happened back in September the 17th, 2014. And there's still stuff about that that room downstairs that I cannot tell. Because it was too horrible. There's still stuff that happened there I can't even talk about. That's the stuff I can't talk about after four years. So, actually September 14, 15, 16, yeah, it's almost five years. Yeah, it's four years. Over four years. That's the night I was kidnapped from Bush Stadium. September the 17th, 2014, taken downstairs, my hands were tied down to the uh, shackle down to the table, and before you even say hello or yes or no, there were no police there, and there were no St. Louis police, there were no, you know, it had nothing to do with police, it had something to do with, uh, I would call it kidnapping, bullying. Whatever you, name you want to put to it. Kidnapping, bullying, um, harassment, or all three of them. How about that one? Let's label it all three of them. 
They took my camera away from me. They, they searched through every one of them. They erased all my stuff. However, they didn't get this because it was on my body cam. Uh, they erased all my pictures. They messed up my camera. They took my phone and searched everything through it. Took it apart. Ruined that. They yelled at me and screamed at me for two hours about how transgender people and gay people they should they're going to go to hell and we don't want people like that in our stadium and how I'm a monster and all kinds of <coughs> horrible stuff my throat is about to kill me that's how come I'm trying to talk fast here <coughs> I don't want to stop and go get the water and come back I want to finish this they kept going for two hours and literally called me every name in the book that I'm a freak and I'm and, 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 and not a uh, a nut, a crazy woman, um, a killer, all kinds of, you name it, and they said it. Said they were going to come after me if I ever told anybody about it. They made me, um, they called it strip search. Um, was no search. Um, but they, you get the idea that I ain't going to even talk about it. I call it, they assaulted me once. They assaulted me twice. They sexually assaulted me the third time. So that makes three of them. Not to mention the bruises on my hand. And when I, when I, there's a brick wall that was sitting there. And there was three times I wound up getting hit by the brick wall. And one of them was my own doing. Because I said I wanted to die. I wanted them to kill me. I said, I want to kill myself. I want to kill myself. And I banged my head against the wall. First, they took me and grabbed me like this and banged my head against the wall. I don't know what they were doing. I don't know what they wanted. I don't know what. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. I'm just telling the story as I remember it happening. And I remember it quite clearly. And uh, when they slapped me, that's another thing. Then they told me I'm going to hell. That I should go to hell. I should burn and I should be killed and all this nice stuff. You know what I mean? I should be burned up and killed and <coughs> I'm no good. And transgender people are going to hell and gay people shouldn't be here and all that Blah, 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 all the whole two hours. And they showed me this picture on their camera, pretend that it's a camera. I, I remember the specific, because it was a picture of a guy there with a beard. I have never had a beard, and it was no way, if you ever look at my picture, if I looked like that guy. And he kept telling me that that was him, that's him, that's him, that's me. And he called me the wrong name. He filed up my name, I'm telling you that. When I got done, I was on the floor, and banging my head on the wall to the blood all over my floor and they stand there and laugh at that and t they kept telling me do it again do it again do it again kill yourself kill yourself so, so, they called me by the other name kill yourself so, and kill yourself so, and kill yourself all of this happened whether you want to believe it or not this is why I never told the story because I got threatened at the end. I got threatened so many times, I didn't know what I was going to do. This is what happened at Bush Stadium. Not by the people that went to Bush Stadium, but by the people that run Bush Stadium. This happened, and I've never told the story. I've sealed it up for four and a half years. Until finally, I mean, I, have not, I still wake up with nightmares screaming about it. Because I was assaulted and tortured and tormented and... Uh, kidnapped and every everything unimaginable you could think. Some of them I can't talk about. Some of them, I'm telling you, more stuff happened, but I can't talk about it. At least not on this. Most of this stuff I've never even told to the therapist, which I am going to tell them now about it. But that's what happened at Bush Stadium. I was kidnapped at Bush Stadium by the people that run there because they wanted to torture me. I don't know what the hell their plan was, what to do with me. But I never went back after that. So, I wanted to let you know that. And tell you that. And it, it changed me forever. If you want to ask me what changed me, that's what did it right there. That changed me how my outlook on stuff. I'm the, Yes, I'm still the dance of life. But, uh, yeah, that changed me right there. Because I never did anything to them. Or anybody or anything. And I got tormented and tortured and beat and kicked and ki and threatened so many times over it wasn't funny. I mean, they took my camera and they broke my camera. $150 camera, they broke that. Took all my pictures out of there. Yeah, I got these pictures because I had a body cam on. <clears throat> or else I would have nothing. Took my phone. 
which all it was was a phone. There was no camera in it. They were looking for a camera. They, they took it apart looking for a camera as they was, as they were saying that I was going to burn in hell and I shouldn't be there and this and that and all this kind of stuff. And I'm telling the same story six times. Yes, I am telling. I definitely am telling the story six times because I will stand up against the force of God and still tell the same story because that is what happened at Bush Stadium. It really happened. It was for real. I've never told it till now, and these pictures have never been released until now. So now I'm telling my story. That is what happened to me at Bush Stadium. September the 17th, 2014. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon. I do remember all of that. Quite good. I had taken the train up there, the Metrolink up there. And all I did was come in, showed them my ticket, went up to where the stage thing was, and there was no music there. Went there and, you know, dancing alongside of the cheerleader people up there. They came and grabbed me and took me downstairs. The rest is history. So, you can choose to believe it or not believe it. I know it's a far-tetched tale, but it happened. So help me God. I'm putting my hand up there. It happened. And they threatened me at the end of that. said, I'm never supposed to tell anybody this. Well, guess what? I'm telling it now. I'm telling my story now of what they did. Thank you and good night.